Hello everyone. This is Basha from Nuclear Academy. I teach chemistry and uh, today I'm going to discuss about one topic which is belongs to organic chemistry, electrophilic substitution reactions. So what is the importance of electrophilic substitution reactions? First of all, I'll discuss. Then electrophilic substitution reactions is the most important part in organic chemistry. If you know that one, we can do the conversions. It is most important. And of course, some of the name would reactions also depending on the electrophilic substitution reactions only like Cole Schmidt reaction and uh, Riemann Tiemann reaction etc. So first of all I will discuss about the electrophilic substitution. So what is electrophilic substitution reaction? Substitution reaction means what? Replacement reaction. One group is replaced by another group. So that is substitution reaction. Suppose I am using one pen. If pen is replaced by the pencil, that is pen pencil. Pen is substituted by the pencil. That is replacement reaction. I am having, what is that one? I am going to take one, one thing I have taken. So my right hand is having one thing. So this is this color is black and etc. something. So if it is replaced by the some other thing means now I have taken tape. So previous thing is replaced by tape. So that is what previous thing is replaced by the tape. This is substitution reaction that is substituted by this one. So like this substitution reactions are mainly classified into three types. Electrophilic substitution, free radical substitution and nucleophilic substitution. What is first of all electrophilic substitution? What is electrophilic substitution means? Substitution is happening because of electrophile. So if one electrophile is replaced by another electrophile that is electrophilic substitution. So one electrophile is in which one electrophile is replaced by another electrophile. Of course electrophilic substitution reactions classification first of all we will discuss one by one we will discuss. So classification electrophilic substitution reactions are mainly classified into five types. First one halogenation. Next one nitration. Third one Friedel-Crafts alkylation. Fourth one, Friedel-Crafts acylation. Then these two reactions are most important. Then one more, last one, sulfonation. This is one of the important topic in benzene chapter. Along with that, if you learn electrophilic substitution reactions and remaining chapters also, each and every chapter, five reactions will become easy. Not only five, many reactions. Many reactions, name of reactions also depending on electrophilic substitution. Then, for example, Riemann Tiemann reaction and Kolb's reaction, etc. Kolb Schmidt reaction. Then, first one, halogenation, I'll take. Second one, nitration and Friedel-Craft alkylation, and this one. Out of these are all, these two are most important. Then first of all, I am going to discuss about the Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction. So, what is the Friedel Crafts alkylation? Conversion of benzene into alkyl benzene in presence of alkyl halide. R is nothing but alkyl group, not only alkyl group, any organic group we can take. In presence of 
Lewis acid. As of now, anhydrous AlX3 I am taking. This is Lewis acid. Conversion of alkane into alkyl benzene is known as alkylation. Friedel-Crafts alkylation. Then how do you get that one? Then why do we have to call this is the electrophilic substitution reaction? That will be discussed based on the mechanism. In which total three steps are involved. Step one, electrophile formation step. In electrophile formation, we are taking alkyl halide in one beaker. We are adding anhydrous Lewis acid. This is nothing but AlX3. Then Lewis acid is electron pair acceptor. So aluminum is connected to three halogens. Three halogens means six electrons are there. That is two electron deficient. It has to take electron pair from the halogen. Then because it required electrons, Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. So, whenever halogen is donating electron pair to the aluminum, aluminum gets negative charge, halogen gets positive charge. So, whenever it gets positive charge, it required electrons, it can take electron pair from the alkyl group. So, that alkyl group gets positive charge plus AlX4 minus. This is called alkyl carbocation. alkyl carbocation also called alkyl carbonium and also we can call so in this reaction first of all in electrophilic substitution in which fiddle craft alkylation reactions some more important points are there what and all we have used in this then lewis acid we have taken what is the role of the lewis acid then along with that one in reaction mechanism r plus is generated what is the importance of r plus why do we have to form the r plus so i'll tell you lewis acid acts as catalyst because of lewis acid involvement in this reaction whenever alkyl halide is going to react we will get the alkyl carbocation Alkyl carbocation acts as electrophile in this reaction. Alkyl carbocation acts as electrophile in this reaction. So that means what? This R may be methyl group, ethyl group, isopropyl group, tertiary butyl group, or cyclohexyl group also we can take. So that is nothing but organic group. Is nothing but alkyl. Generally we are calling alkyl group. Then first step electrophile is generated R plus is acting as electrophile step 2 electrophile attacking step in step 2 electrophile will be connected to the benzene ring benzene benzene is a aromatic compound it can react with R plus. R plus is electrophile because now we are introducing the benzene in the beaker. R plus is acting as electrophile. Then benzene is acting as neutral nucleophile. Electrophile is electron pair acceptor. It required electrons. Then it can take electron pair from the benzene ring. Benzene is acting as nucleophile, can donate electrons to that. This step is slow step. This occurs very slow. Why this step is called slow step means? Benzene is an aromatic compound. So, aromatic compounds are more stable in form. More stable means what? Less reactive. That's why it is occurring. It is proceeding through very slow. So, benzene is going to connect with R. So, this is the double bond. One double bond is there. It is going to shift like this. So, between the benzene ring and R bond formation takes place. Remaining double bonds I am representing. So, with this structure, I am going to write possible resonance structures. Double bond adjacent carbon is having positive charge. Resonance is possible.
here bond will be shifted this carbon gets positive charge again one more double bond is there r then here double bond adjacent group is having positive charge one more resonance structure is possible double bond will be shifted this gets positive charge so these are the possible resonance structures with first structure these three are also represented by sigma complex in which sigma complex is nothing but what delocalization of electrons by changing position of the carbocation means cation position this is sigma complex what is the sigma complex in which so sigma complex is the intermediate stage in electrophilic substitution reactions not only friedel crafts any electrophilic substitution reaction so intermediate is what sigma complex next in step 3 product will be formed what is this step 3 i'll take in next page Any one resonance structure we can take out of those three. I have taken last resonance structure. It can react with AlX4 minus, which is present in the same beaker. AlX4 minus means AlX3 plus X minus. X minus can react with H plus. H plus and X, uh, X minus HX will be formed. And double bond will be developed between this carbon and carbocation carbon. then here this step is fast step why this step is called fast step means what previously it has lost aromaticity now whenever it is involving it is reacting with alx4 minus it will regain the aromaticity so aromaticity means what more stable aromatic compounds are more stable to attain the more stability it will get more interest to participate that's the reason and remaining alx3 so in first step alx3 we have taken so in last step alx3 is remain same so that's why alx3 is not going to consume it is acting as catalyst so most important thing in which so what is the electrophile in every electrophilic substitution reaction the name of the electrophilic substitution reaction also given based on the electrophile got it so in alkylation in friedel craft alkylation alkyl carbocation is electrophile suppose in nitration nitronium is the electrophile so Electrophile decides the name of the electrophilic substitution reaction. Then applications of the electrophilic substitution reactions. Next topic, one by one, we'll discuss. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I'll explain the applications of friedel craft circulation reaction in next class. More videos are coming. Have a good day. Thank you all.